Good morning from the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. This is my uh, beautiful ritual of lighting candles for the one who asked me to do that via buy me a coffee link. And I will do that happily. It helps me, it helps you. I'm happy. At this time, I've already been at the tomb of Jesus because I cannot take video. I started from there. And now we are at the Greek Orthodox Cathedral, which is a beautiful place. And um, for us, it's important because this is the center of the world according to. Um, to Greek Orthodox believe and I'm blessing the candles here in front of you is the Church of the Holy Sepulchre um, the tomb itself, the Holy Sepulchre um, that is where Jesus was buried but three days later resurrected then in that case for me it's such an important site. I've been there uh, one or two minutes ago. As you can see, there's no line at all. And if the chapel here will be open, then I will light the candles there. With the, if not, I will light the candles in the Armenian um, place. The link for Buy Me Coffee is almost there. You can find it in most of my videos from the, um, let's say, uh, at least from, from uh, last year and now. But if you won't find the link, then tell me that. Uh, just send me a message and I will send you the link. And by that, I will be able to bless you as well. The tomb of Jesus looks new, and indeed it's new, the structure is new, but the site itself is old. Uh, it's been destroyed so many times, and last time that it been destroyed, it was because of the Christians, and that church was burned down in 1808, and the result was um, an, a broken place. Then they renovated, built it and renovated it lately. And I want you to see how it actually looks like at the time of Jesus. And this is important for me. Then let's go into a chapel that um, uh, is next to the tomb. I saw some people there, then let them go out and I will go in. It doesn't look like a million dollar chapel, isn't it? Mainly because there is a debate who owns that room and until they figure out who owns that room, it will be like that. Then you can see a lot of the marks of the fire of 1808. It's not a table, it's not a chair, it's an altar. I didn't enter because of it. I didn't even enter because of the fourth century wall that you see here. I enter because of that. Let me use the flashlight. This is a tomb. Oh, what is that? Is that the Holy Spirit? Wow. Then, you can see the niches there. I ah, wonder what it is. And this is a real tomb from the time of Jesus. Then let me bless those candles here too. We believe that that tomb belongs to Joseph of Arimathea, who gave Jesus his own tomb. Hmm. Which you already saw, that in that case, you saw a real tomb from the time of Jesus, and now there's no doubt that the tomb of Jesus, which looks new, can be um, a tomb from ancient time. Um, we know that Joseph of Arimathea gave Jesus his own tomb that no one used before. Then in that case, uh, that was the tomb, and Joseph of Arimathea built himself 
another tomb next to his master. Then we started from the tomb. If it's okay by you, I want to visit um, other places of the church. It's going to be a short video of, let's say, 10 minutes. And then I will light the candles. Everyone can ask me to pray or to say whatever they want. I'm not going to talk about it in that movie because it's between you and Jesus, between you, between you and God. Uh, but we are leaving now the tomb and heading to the place that they anointed the body of Jesus. We're going via the Armenian chapel that they just saw. And if you're looking at that, that's how the tomb looks like. Remember, we saw Joseph of Romitia tomb, just like that. And that's how Jesus' tomb was looking like. Before they bury him, they purify his body. And the Golgotha is here too. Uh, we know that according to the book of uh, um, John, the Golgotha was close to the tomb of, to the garden of Joseph of Romitia. That's why he was buried next to it. Then this is where they purified the body of Jesus. You can see that it's shining. That's because of the anointing oil. And I'm blessing your candles here. A lot of you decided to um, support me, which is good, without asking me to buy them or to light them a candle. Um, I would be more than happy to do that, but usually one of the candles is uh, for um, for all of you, including the one who are now watching uh, that video. I'm blessing you by that. And you can ask whatever you want now, because uh, you are in front of Jesus. We climb up to the Calvary and Golgotha. That's why they nailed Jesus into the cross. This is a Catholic chapel. Hmm. And the Pieta is next to it. That's where Mary held the body of Jesus after the crucifixion. Look at the face of the mother. Oh, so sad. And this is the Calvary, the crucifixion place. You saw the bedrock of the Golgotha. Jesus on the cross, John to the right, Mary, the mother to the left, and now I'm entering the exact crucifixion site and I'm reaching your candles and touching the bedrock. This is the only option. And before we're going to light the candles, <clears throat> let me read some of the names that you asked me to mention. I hope that I won't make a mistake. Ursula, Ralph, from India, Mel, and Diane. Mary Beth across Betty, EJ, 
uh, Rebecca, Dina, James, Anthony, Jose de Costa. Marlene, Patsy, Kathy, uh, Duncan, thank you very much Duncan, Reza, I love your remarks, I love your comments, James, and Xitlatin, um, I'm sure that you're laughing now when you hear me, but I'm sorry that uh, I'm not good with it. Then I'm blessing you in front of the um, crucifixion, please. And let's go to the um, Greek Orthodox this time. And I will, I will uh, light a candle in front of the tomb of Jesus. Let's hope that it's going to be open. Cross your fingers. But we will go, we will run to all, and we will see a little bit more of the church. I do have long videos of the church as well, but uh, here you can see a little bit of uh, the lower part of the Golgotha. The Greek Orthodox uh, chapel, you can see where they are. Uh, stone that Jesus was sitting on him while the Roman soldiers laughed at him. Armenian chapel, and I'm actually, if it's okay by you, I'm adding ruby into it. Ruby, this is for you. Which are just making a run to run the Greek Orthodox. Chapel. Prison of Christ will be to your right it soon. It's so nice to talk with you. It's so nice to hear uh, your comments. I'm talking about all the um, all my subscriber and and if it's if you're just seeing for the first time you must know that I have almost 20,000 videos on YouTube about everything in the Holy Land and let me take a picture I won't disturb them then please subscribe my channel can I continue yes <clears throat> Another um, wall from the um, uh, fourth century, beginning of the, that uh, church from the time of Constantine. Uh, we are entering to um, Catholic Chapel. That is where Mary Magdalene saw Jesus. Jesus was right here. I'm blessing the candles here as well. And Mary Magdalene was here on Sunday, Resurrection Day. Let me bless your candles here. For me, I know that from time to time it's important for you to say, I'm not a Catholic. Why do you do it in a Catholic place? I'm trying to show you that everyone are equal. If you believe in Jesus, you are a Christian. It doesn't matter for me what way, which way, what name, uh, what domination it's less important for me um everyone are human beings everyone are believing in in uh, everyone here believes in god except for the one who doesn't then uh, i'm blessing you everywhere um you know what just to show you um that i really mean it um i will bless it next to um, the armenian chapel This is the Armenian chapel. And, sorry, this is the holy fire. And then I will bless it around it. And now I will go to the Greek Orthodox.
that strong. I hope that he will let me do that. To light the candles there. And after that I will sit in one of the chairs and I will read everything that you ask me to read. You can see that I'm right here in front of the tomb of Jesus. <laughs> All the candles at the Greek Orthodox and the Armenian church is from the Holy Fire. And the Pascha, Easter. I didn't look at the clock, I didn't look at my watch, I, I, actually I don't have a watch, um, it's in my camera and I don't know what's the time now, but this is the exact time that he died on the cross, and I was lighting those candles without tension, I didn't mean it at that time, um, Betty will say it of course, he guide you, and you know what Betty, he did then um, thank you for being with me uh, in that amazing 19 minutes please subscribe my channel and if you want me to light a candle for you go to buy me coffee link this is the only play on the only way thank you very much <laughs>